Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back once again. It's Remote Superstar to be here with you guys. Today looks like it's nighttime. We got to sleep. Guys, I recorded a crazy adventure. I recorded a crazy adventure in the nether earlier, and uh, the game didn't record any of my audio. So I'm pretty upset because I'm going to be honest. It was the most insane adventure I've ever had in the nether. I fell into a hole. I was getting owned by stuff. It was just crazy, man. Uh, but I've got some things that I need to catch you guys up on uh, in regards to what I've been doing around uh, my area. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to show you guys some of the little builds that we've done. First, I need to feed my cows because I need some meat. So uh, here we go. Who, uh, who, wants to, uh, who wants to do some things so that we can get more cows over here? Cool. Appreciate it. All right. So, we'll go back inside. Throw this in there. <clears throat> so, in the last episode, I'm trying to think of what all I've shown you guys. I'm trying to think of what all I've shown you guys, okay? Because sometimes, like, Klaus and I will record, but we'll post at a different, uh, a different time. So, uh, yeah, uh, that's one thing that we need to keep in mind. Um, so, here, here's what we're just gonna go ahead and say, okay? So, since Klaus and I went into the nether the other day, uh, I have been, uh, I've been busy, okay? To say the least. I've been busy. Look at all of the stuff that I've done, okay? So, the nether portal, as you guys know, was over there, right? But we needed a way to get over here. We needed a way to get over to the nether portal. Um, so I switched up some of the redstone stuff. The button was over here, blah, blah, blah. Now we've got this. It opens that door up for us, which is great. We can hit the button, and then you just run right in. It's a close one. It's a close one. And then you have this to uh, to make your way out. We got that little repeater, uh, or we've got the little, little thing going over there. I wanted to put the button over here so that it was a little bit far away. So here's the nether portal, okay? I know it, it feels a little cramped. Right? But like I told you guys, I like I like the storyline of things. I like the storyline of things. I like thinking, okay, wow, look, there's like old fence posts and uh, these things were clearly cut by human hands and uh, all this kind of stuff. Look at the, 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 the water in here has made moss grow on this. Like, I just like that kind of stuff. I love that kind of stuff. So yes, it is cramped in here, but we discovered it and we threw up a, we threw up a couple of, of lanterns and now... We can make our way into the nether portal, okay? So, we've got that going for us, but check this out. So, I made a little, uh, little willow tree, okay? Little, uh, little weeping willow, if you will. I've always had some of those growing up as a kid, but you know what I just realized? I think, did I put all those back? I did put all those back. Dang it, I was gonna add some. So, we added a bridge, that goes at an angle, which you guys know is kind of tough to do in Minecraft, actually, because um, normally it's easier to build in a straight line in Minecraft. It's difficult to build at an angle, or at least more difficult, not necessarily difficult entirely, but more difficult to make things look good at an angle. Okay, so we've got our jungle wood, and we've got our spruce, and then we've got our oak trees right there okay so the oak tree is the thing that goes up but look at this we've got some vines growing from up above we've got this cool little like lattice work going on and it's all uh mirrorable if you will like we can go ahead and um i can uh i can get up here and uh whoop show you guys so it's all like mirrorable right so you see everything is everything is okay everything's connected it's all the same pattern etc etc and uh we're good to go we are good to go i thought i i thought i saw class over there but i did not so we made this this willow tree right i'm gonna go get uh i'm gonna go get those leaves real quick that i was just talking about there and here we need the spruce leaves one two three four five six yeah six would be enough whatever why not just grab a whole stack there's literally like why not why not so we're gonna go over here real quick um, I want to throw them on like this is this is too one-dimensional you see that so we need to go like One right there that already makes that a little bit better and this one goes all the way down into the water I kind of wanted to actually go under the water too um, 
because that's what willow trees do a lot of times. Uh, they go under the water like that. Um, I'm sure many of you guys have seen Pocahontas and, and whatnot. Gosh, it looks so good. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. That already looks better right there with that. Let's go check it out from this side. Um, and see, yeah, I feel like we need to maybe, maybe put one up there. I don't really know. I think that's what we'll do. Okay. So we'll get up on top of here real quick. I just want to show you guys that thought process that, okay. The thought process that I have when it comes to, uh, building these things a lot of times. Um, oh, don't tell me. I Seriously, you're telling me I can't build right there? Three. Yep. Okay. So, now then, we've got this, right? So, we need to go here. And I guess here. Maybe bring that right there. That one's already coming out. Good. And, uh, now we'll go and... Get rid of this, even though I do have scaffolding uh, back in my thing. I don't really use it ever, um, just because of the... That almost looks... Now Now they're like... Like, see, like, the, it, it's just... It, it, it's, it's too matchy-matchy. Too matchy-matchy. I don't want that. I don't want that. I might as well... You know, I kind of want to just go get rid of what I just did. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, man. Oh, <gasps> Okay, we're good. Don't worry. Aha! So, we'll get rid of this one. And... I wanted to... Mm. Here, here's what I'll do. Okay. So we'll go down here. And I will do that. And that's at a different level. So, let's see how that one looks, okay? Oh, wow. That was a, that was a deep dive right there, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so that looks a little bit better. Still, like, this hard edge is hard for me to look at. Um, but, I mean, that's how that's how Weeping Willow is a lot of times. You look at them, and, and they go, they literally, like, fall off a map. Um, so, I dig it. I like it. The Willow is the way to go. I love building trees in this game, too, as I know a lot of you guys uh, now know. And probably knew uh, before. A little bit just because of how much uh i build them so we've got this willow and this bridge man like I, I i'm digging it i'm digging the angle of it i'm digging the like the the overgrownness uh you can see some of the uh like that's underneath there we'll put that on on water surface level walking through you got the pads like i, I like to think about peripheral vision whenever whenever i play and build in minecraft like, things that you see out of the corner of your eye. So, if I'm looking right down this bridge, I see the willow out of the corner of my eye. I see his house on the right side. Um, and uh, as I walk through here, like, I see, like, out of the corner of my eye, we see this. We see this. And we see this. So, looking down, that's kind of that's kind of what we're looking at. Now, as we're walking through again, we see this, which is super cool. Our little, uh, our little log or, uh, limb there with, uh, with some leaves growing off of it. We've got this again. We've got that. We've got this. So like walking through all of this and then the different levels, the fact that this comes down one below this, as you're walking through, it makes that interaction so much better. Um, I also just saw this and I absolutely hate it. We need to, we need to make this look like a worn, a, a worn, a worn path. So we'll do a little bit of, a little bit of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People walking up and over. I, why, why is it still here? I need to get rid of this. Uh, oh, that was a danger zone. So heading over here, things look good. Again, out of the corner of my eyes, I'm walking through this. Oh wow, we see that. Look, so we see these leaves right here. Look so good. We got this. We got this one hitting the water over there. Um, we got the lily pad right there. This doesn't look too hot. Uh, so I'm going to want that to turn green. Uh, do I have any? I do have some bone meal. So we're going to use that real quick. And we'll go ahead and go there. Okay, that's that's a good use of bone meal. We'll go there. And we'll go right. Yes, look at this, ladies and gentlemen. So love this tree. That's not a willow. That's just a regular twee tree. A twee. <laughs> this is the kind of a willow. Um... Because you can see that it's 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 kind of going in, in this direction like a, a willow does, IRL. It goes in 
it goes in a direction. Sometimes they go straight down, but if they're like uh, leaning over, which is kind of the, the story behind that one or whatever. And we're running through here, and, and it feels good, and it looks good, and I love it, and I appreciate it. And we're going to go down here real quick. Again, we're in here. Um, we've got the nether that is going to need some work uh, for Klaus and I to go into, or at least whenever we do end up going into it. Um, I'll want to keep it a little bit more organized. Did I already get rid of all of my uh, wheat? I did. I need to fill that up. It's nighttime. So, in the words of B double O, I gotta shrape. Why do I always do this? I gotta shrape. Okay. Um, jumping back in here, I don't really know what I want to do right now um, for the rest of this uh, Vidya. I really like the way this looks, man. I really like the way this looks. Like, like what? Like walk through here with me. Let's let's do this. Okay. What well, here? Hold on a second. Okay. Walk through here with me. Okay. Look at this. We're going for it. Okay. Let's just just look at everything. Just look at everything around. Okay. We got lots of we got lots of depth. We got lots of different colors. Um. We got the spokes up there. We got all of this, which look it just looks like intertwining lattice, if you will. I could throw some more fences up there, but. I kind of like it how it is. Like, the goal of this isn't to protect you from the rain. It's, it's literally just to look good while you're walking. Um, those fence posts up there look good on the top. We got different colors. I could I could put another... Let, let, do I have one? No. I was going to say, I could put another stair right there. But, oh, what if we went stair... St Yo, okay. We got to try it. We're always trying to make things look just unique and different do i have any no okay so um i'm just gonna go half i want to make a couple of spruce stairs here just to see if what i'm thinking over here will look good okay so as we're walking through here i wouldn't it's not it so just to show you guys my process again as we're walking through here do we want to feel cramped? No, we want to be able to look out there and see stuff. So originally, I was just thinking of... Um, okay, that's annoying. I was thinking of um, of building... Yes. Yes. This. And then we go... Yes. Yes. I'm trapped. Literally trapped. <laughs> we'll jump through here and see uh see so like uh that isn't what i wanted yeah I, I, I don't think that's what we want i don't think that's what we want i don't we could do fences but i don't think that's what we want either i think we like it how it is do i have any half slabs no um so yeah, I, I don't think that we want to do anything there. We could build off of this or something. Um, but I, I like it how it is. And again, like I said, when I'm building stuff, I like thinking about the peripheral of it. So walking through here, we see that over there. We don't want to block any of that. Um, somebody's making noise back here. I do want to get rid of this. Um, we don't want to block any of that. Walking through here, yeah, this it would, it would make this feel too confined if we built in right here. Um, so we got that area that we can see out of the corner of our eye. Again, that's, that's what we're doing. Like, imagine how cramped it would feel if I had just blocked that off. Even though we can fit, you don't, you don't always want to do that because it's going to make you feel cramped. It's going to make you not feel comfortable as you're running and walking through. I'm just giving you guys some of my building tips as, as I go through things in the process that I go through of functionality and role playing like this is a role playing game we are uh, like this is not a real bridge but i'm walking on it right now and i'm loving it so walking through here again the vine coming you kind of got to duck a little bit but you're hanging out you're talking uh you're not too worried about it coming through here you might you might move a little bit to the left to avoid that but it's okay because it looks cool as you're walking by it you know what i'm saying um so we've got that and and it's good and i like it and this is what we're working with over here um yeah i'm a huge fan i'm a huge fan of it I've, I've shown you guys my my mind haven't i 
yo, it's weird walking around. So the same sort of vibe as I go through here. Like, yeah, it probably takes me a little bit more time going down into my mind because of the vines and stuff growing. But it's all about the experience for me. And it's like, oh, I want to go down to my mind. Do I want to just walk down a, a dull hallway and go down there? No, I don't care if I walk through some vines uh, on the way. You know what I mean? So eventually I'll probably do some more here, especially once I find like a spawner. I'm going to make the area uh, over to the spawner super cool. Uh, you guys are definitely going to love it. But, I mean, like, just just look at this. Again, peripheral, guys, peripheral. Walking through here, it's like, oh, what's going on? IRL, you see this, you're like, oh, what's over here? There's a hole. Wow, that's cool. And then you keep on walking. You know what I mean? Now, again, I know. It's just a game. Whatever. But those are the types of things that go through my head again like even right here like oh whoa i wonder what's in there like you don't know that it goes all the way up but you can kind of guess you're like man look those vines those vines definitely go all the way up this is a little bit too square of a square for me but you know it is what it is and again there it is again the, the little the little hole in the little hallway um you can see as you're running down here you get scared for a second looking down there and seeing that super cool i love it um so that that's that's probably one of my uh, biggest building tips uh, that I would say for you guys is just that process of thinking about the peripheral as you're walking around, as you're doing things, think about the peripheral, think about what you're seeing, um, out of the corner of your eye that makes you feel, uh, more at home. So yeah, that's going to be it guys. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.